Okay, so in today's video, we're going to take a look at how we figure out the length of arcs. So an arc is basically just a section of the circumference of a circle. We actually looked at finding the circumference in a previous video. If you want to check that video out, I'll leave a link for it in the description and also a card in the top corner. So for this first question, we've got to figure out the arc length given our answer in terms of pi. But we can see we've got a semicircle. So going back to our formula for a circumference of a circle, to find the circumference, we simply do pi multiplied by the diameter of the circle. But that would give me the whole circumference. In this question, we've got a semicircle. We only want half of that circumference. So to find the length of the arc of the semicircle, we'd have to do pi times the diameter, which would give us the whole circumference, then simply divide that by two. So for this question, we'd have pi times the diameter, or well, the diameter of the circle is 16 centimeters. So this would be 16 times pi, or 16 pi, divided by two, which then we can simplify 16 pi divided by two just to eight pi. And that'd be our final answer because it wants our answer in terms of pi, so we'd have eight pi, and then the units, because the diameter was in centimeters, the arc length would also be in centimeters. So the answer to this one would be eight pi centimeters. Okay, for our next question, we've got to find the arc length again. We've got another semicircle, but we're going to give our answer to two decimal places this time. So we're never going to use the formula pi times d. That would give us the whole circumference. Because it's a semicircle, I only want half. I'm then going to divide that by 2. So for this one, we'd have pi times the diameter. The diameter is 6, so I could write that as 6 pi. We've still got to divide by 2. That simplifies quite nicely because we've got 6 pi divided by 2 would just give us 3 pi but then we need to give our answer to two decimal places. So if we put three pi in the calculator and change it to a decimal, we get that that is equal to 9.4247 and a few extra. That's enough to round though. So to two decimal places, this would just be 9.4 and the two would remain as a two. So our answer to this question would be 9.42 and using the correct units, because the diameter is in metres, the arc length would also be in metres. So we've got 9.42 metres. OK, for this next question, we're going to find the arc length again, giving it in terms of pi. So because we've got a right angle and we know that's 90 degrees, our whole circle would be 360 degrees. So the arc length would actually be a quarter of the whole circumference. So just like the questions before, I'm still going to use the formula for a circumference, which is pi times the diameter. But then this time, because I've only got a quarter of the circle, I'd have to divide the circumference by 4. And that would give me the length of the arc. So let's substitute these values in. To begin with, we don't have the diameter, because if we look back at the question, this time we're actually given the radius. We have from the centre to the circumference is actually 4, so the radius is 4. So that means the diameter would be double this. So if the radius is 4, the diameter would be 8. So now we can substitute in. We've got pi times the diameter. Well, if the diameter is 8, that's the same as 8 pi divided by 4, which then just simplifies to 2 pi. So our final answer would be 2 pi, and the correct units would be centimetres, as that's what the radius is in. OK, for this next question, finding the arc length, giving it to two decimal places, we've got the quarter of a circle again. So our formula would be the whole circumference, which would be pi times the diameter. Again, this time we're going to divide that by 4. So looking back at the question, again, we don't have the diameter. We're given the radius this time. The radius of the circle is 8 centimetres. That means to find the diameter, we simply have to double it. So if the radius is 8, the diameter would be 16. So we can substitute in, we've got to do pi times the diameter, so we're doing pi times 16, which is just 16 pi, which then we're going to divide by 4. Well, 16 pi divided by 4 is actually 4 pi, but then it's said to give the answer to two decimal places. So if we type 4 pi into the calculator and convert it to a decimal, we would have 12.5663 and a few extra, that's enough to round. So to two decimal places, this would simply be 12.5, and the 6 would round up to a 7. So our final answer to two decimal places would be 12.57, and using the correct units, because our radius was in centimetres, our arc length would also be in centimetres. And that's the answer to that one. 
Okay, so for this next question, we've got to find the arc length again, giving our answer to two decimal places. But this time we're given a sector of 37 degrees. So just like the other questions, we didn't have a full circle, we had a fraction of a circle. So for our semicircle, we did the circumference and then we just simply divided it by two. We then had questions where we had a right angle, so we had 90 degrees. From that way we were able to figure out we had a quarter of a circle, so we just divided the circumference by four. So for this question, we've still got a fraction of the circle again. So we're still going to figure out the circumference, but then it's what fraction is going to be used to find that arc length. Well, we know there's 360 degrees in a circle, and our sector here is 37 degrees. So the fraction of the entire circle that this sector represents is 37 over 360. That's the fraction of the entire circle we need to find. So we're just going to multiply this fraction by our formula for finding the circumference of a circle, which we've already looked at, which is pi times the diameter. So for this question here, we need the diameter. We're actually given the radius again, so we know if the radius is 12 centimetres, we have to double it to find the diameter. So our diameter would actually be 24. So we're going to do 37 over 360, and we're going to multiply that by pi times the diameter. Well, if the diameter is 24, pi times 24 is just 24 pi. So that's what we need to do for this question. So on the calculator, if we do 37 over 360 multiplied by 24 pi, we get 7.7492 and some extra, but this is enough to round. So to two decimal places, this would simply be 7.75. So our answer would be 7.75, then using the correct units, the radius was in centimetres, so our arc length will also be in centimetres. And for our final question, again, figuring out the arc length, giving our answer to two decimal places. So this time we have a sector of 123 degrees, and we're given a radius of 5.5 metres. So we know this arc length is a fraction of the whole circumference, so the fraction would be 123 out of a possible 360 degrees. And then we just multiply that by the formula for how we'd figure out the circumference, which would be pi times the diameter. So looking at the question, we're given the radius is 5.5, but to find the diameter, we simply have to double that. So if the radius is 5.5, the diameter would be 11. So substituting in our calculation would be 123 over 360 multiplied by, so we've got pi times the diameter. Well, if the diameter is 11, that would simply be 11 pi. So typing that into the calculator, we would get 11.8071 and a few extra. That's enough to round. So to two decimal places, that would simply be 11.8 and the zero would become a one. So for our final answer, we've got 11.81 and using the correct units, the radius was in meters. So therefore our arc length will also be in meters. And that's the last question for today's video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please feel free to leave a like and consider subscribing. If there are any topics at all that you'd like me to go over next, then please just let me know down in the comments. And I'll try to make some videos covering those topics as soon as possible. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.